All right, Shalom. Uh, first off, I want to say all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Racha Kudash. Uh, double honors to our uh, apostles and elders of GMS. And uh, to the elect who work in sincerity and truth, Shalom. GMS precepts, Nazar Khad here. And um, I want to touch on a topic we touched on um, at camp. Um, explaining the wicked. Well, well f first off, this is um, uh, an edition of Bible Basics. I haven't done this in a while, um, but the basics are always needed. Um, the basics are important, you know, because you might have somebody that's new and um, not knowing everything that we speak about. It's always good, and, and plus it's always good to go into basics, you know what I mean? So this is something uh, basic, and it's uh, basically I'm going to explain uh the you know the wicked right because you know when you, there are plenty of scriptures in the bible that speak about the wicked but one might get confused right or or one could say oh well there's wicked amongst our people as well right which is true there there, there are wicked amongst the israelites uh you so-called negroes latinos and native americans that that part is true Right, and that, and what proves it is this scripture right here I have highlighted, um, uh, Jeremiah five and twenty six, and it reads, "For among my people are found wicked men." Right, Th this is true. There are wicked amongst us Israelites. All right, from all the tribes, so-called uh, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay, it says, "For among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait as." He that set a snares, they set a trap, they catch men. Okay, so that that's true, especially amongst, you know, especially Jake is uh, wicked. Okay, uh, amongst each other, like they they do the most wickedness against each other, right? Now let me prove that real quick. It, it, it there there's also a reason for that. As I'm straying off a little bit, but let me just get this let me just get this point real quick. Deuteronomy 28, I think that was 54, yeah. This is uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 54, right? And, and there's a reason why amongst our people where a lot of wickedness is, com is committed against a fellow Israelite. It goes back to this curse. This is Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. It's well known that the 28th chapter consists of all the curses that's placed among uh, 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 or upon uh, Israel, okay? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and this is just one of them, Right? Uh, it says, this is uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 54, it says, So that the man that is tender among you, and very delicate, right, his eye shall be evil toward his brother. So when it says, so that man that is tender among you and very delicate, meaning he was, we, at one point, we showed a lot of love towards one one another, okay? Um, if uh, If one Israelite was traveling, and they came, and you know where we were, we would feed them. We 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 would take care of them. Uh, we allowed them to, to to we we housed them. We allowed them to stay until he continued on on in his journey. Okay, we showed a lot of brotherly love. We were we had why because that was of the law. There's civil. There's it's not only um, the, the the Ten Commandments. There's 613 laws, right, which go over ceremonial laws, dietary laws. Okay, um, sacrificial laws that we have to abide by, and as well as civil laws, how we treat each other. Okay, so at one point, according to the law, we were very brotherly toward each other. An Israelite was very brotherly toward a fellow Israelite. Now, that is totally out the picture now. If anything, it's a total opposite. It's flip-flopped. And why is that? And why is that? It's due to the curses. Okay, because like I said, the Deuteronomy... Uh, the book of Deuteronomy, it goes through the curses placed upon Israel from 16 on down. It goes through the curses from 16 all the way down to 68. That goes to the curses that was placed upon us, right? So it says, I read it again, Deuteronomy 28 and 54, so that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eye shall be evil toward his brother and toward the wife of his bosom. And toward the remnant of his children, which, which he shall leave. Okay. So the point was in the beginning how, at one point, we were very brotherly towards each other, but 
um, that's out the window. Now, the point I brought that out is because I, I said a lot of the wickedness that's committed is towards each other. Okay? Right? So, back to uh, Jeremiah, I read it again. For among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait as he that set a snares. They set a trap. They catch men. Okay? So, um, this is true. There are wicked amongst our people. But when it, when the scriptures speak about the wicked, there is a difference. There's wicked amongst our people, but but then there's wicked, then there's the wicked, and the number one nation that earned the title of being called the wicked is none other than the people of Edom. Okay, or are you Edomites? Um, let me go there now since I had it. This is uh, Proverbs 12. Uh, here it is, 12 and 26. The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, but the way of the wicked seduceth them. All right, it says the way of the wicked seduceth them. Now, what is that speaking about? The righteous is speaking about Israel, because Israel, we are considered the righteous. Why are we considered the righteous? Because we have the laws, we were given the laws, statutes, and commandments. That's what makes Israel righteous. That's what makes you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans righteous because we have a, 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 a true power. We, we don't have a false power. We don't have a false God. We have a real, true, and living power. Unlike these other nations, they have false gods and deities, man. Okay? All right? So that's why and we also have the laws to keep us pure and to keep us separate from all the other nations, right? So that's why we're considered the righteous. The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor. But the way of the wicked seduceth them. Okay? The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, but the way of the wicked seduceth them. Now, the wicked is speaking about uh, Esau, man. All right? The wicked is speaking about you Edomites. Why? Because they said we are seduced by the ways of America. In America, you live by, uh, it's, it's promoted that one lives by uh, a do what thou wilt. Um, a do what thou wilt mentality, meaning what you can do whatever what whatever feels right, you you can do it. Go ahead and do it. When that's against the scriptures, man, you can't do everything that that feels right to you. Okay? It tells you in Jeremiah the seventeenth chapter, the mind is, is wicked above all things. Who can know it? So you can't do it, you, you can't do anything to your heart's delight because that one thing you might do might be wicked, a wicked act. According to the Most High, according to the Law, Statute, Commandments. All right, but here in America, we're seduced by the ways of this evil man, this evil that runs this evil, wicked society. Okay, at one point, all the nations—if you go around the globe—it's it's perfectly, it makes sense to have more than one wife. It's perfectly normal. Here in America, in this westernized culture, in this western society, it's pushed that a man only has one wife. And if a man has more than one wife, it's considered wicked. Okay? That's only in this society. Hell, it's not only considered wicked, but it's outlawed in most states in America. Okay? Alright? Um, so going back here, let me go to the next scripture. Now, the wicked, let me prove that Esau is the wicked. This is Job, Job 9 and 24. It says, it says, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Now, we know this scripture. It's a well-known scripture that we go into a lot. Uh, it says, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. The wicked is speaking about the ones that are in rulership right now. It's obvious without a shadow of a doubt. The ones that are in power right now. Is a so-called white man, in particular, the people of Amal the, the 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 Amalekites, okay, the top Edomite nation amongst Esau, is Amalek, and they're the ones that are ruling. They're the ones that are in power. It says the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. So, by this scripture, we can know who the wicked is. All right. Let me go to Psalms 37. This is uh Psalms 37. And I'll start at 12. This whole chapter is bad. I'm going to just start at 12 to get to the point. It says, this is Psalms 37 and 12. The wicked plotteth against the just and gnasheth upon him with his teeth. 
Now we know the just is speaking about the just or the righteous is speaking about Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and the wicked. We already went in. We're, we're like we're going into today. The wicked is speaking about the ones that rule this planet Earth, for pursuing the Job nine and twenty-four, which is none un, none other than the Edomites. So it says the wicked plotteth against the just and gnashes upon his teeth, or gnasheth upon him with his teeth. How does he gnash upon him? He constantly uh, um, uh, tries to find ways to get rid of us, to make us sick, to make us fight against each other, to kill us. All right, to to um, bring down the number of Jake and ultimately to get rid of us. But but look what the Most High says. It says verse thirteen: The Lord shall laugh at him, for he seeth that his day is coming. The day of you Edomites in rulership is fastly coming to an end okay and how can we know that we can see that by prophecy we can see that by your economy and how your 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 kingdom is looking it's not looking too good right now okay like i said this whole chapter is bad but i'm not going to focus on i'm not going to focus on this i just want to i just wanted to bring out the point um i got a few scriptures here i'll just bring them out this is uh, uh psalms 7 and 11 it said the Most High judges the righteous and the Most High is angry with the wicked every day. Okay? The Most High is angry with the wicked every day. So, yeah, I'm just bringing out a few scriptures that prove who the wicked is. And the last one I have here is in Psalms 10. Um, it says, Psalms 10 and 2, The wicked in his pride doth persecute the poor. Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. Now, the wicked is one, none other than... Uh, you, the, the Edomites, the ones that rule this planet Earth, it says in his pride he what he doth persecute the poor. Is he is not is not the Edomites' agenda to to persecute you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and, and and Native Americans? Is that his number? Is is that not his number one goal to to continue persecuting us? Okay, killing us, shooting us down in the streets, killing us with vaccines. Uh, okay, um, uh, flooding our community with all type of drugs, and and allowing us to kill ourselves. Okay, so yes, the wicked in this pie doth persecute the poor. Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined, because the devices that they have imagined and all the things that I that I just listed. But guess what? All those things that they do to us are going to be done back to them. It's going to be us killing. Um, Killing uh, the, 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 the Edomites in the kingdom of heaven, thus said the Bible. Okay? It's going to be us that are going to have total control and rulership over them. Right? Because ultimately, they want us, they, they want to force the chip upon us so, so they can have total control over them. But the flip side is, we're going to have total control over them, pursuing to the scriptures, pursuing a prophecy, all thanks to the promises that were given to us. Via the Most High and His Son. Okay. All right. So that that was pretty much it. I just wanted to prove who the wicked is. The wicked in in the Bible is speaking about none other than the Edomites. One scripture to sh uh, prove that is in Job the ninth chapter when it speaks about the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. The hand of the wicked, or or the earth, meaning the earth was given into them, meaning they have total rulership. All right, and you don't need. A Bible to know um, who's in rulership right now, who's controlling the planet Earth, who has who whose face is on the dollar. Okay, which is the main currency used worldwide is 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 the Edomites. That's how you, that's another way you know who's in rulership, whose money is on whose face is on the money. When we were in rulership, when the so-called Negroes, when the so-called blacks were in in rulership in the, in the Dark Ages, in Europe. Whose face was on the whose face was on the money? Whose face was on a coat of arms? It was none other than Jake, than so-called black men. All right, so that's another way you know who's in rulership. Whose face is on the money? And the main money used worldwide, which is right now is dwindling, the main currency used worldwide is the, is uh, is the dollar. Okay, all right, that was pretty much it. Lord willing, you brothers are edified. Uh, until the next show, shalom.